hi guys uh, welcome to my channel Vishal VFX so if you haven't seen the previous video please do watch that before jumping to this video okay so now it's about dispel so how what are the ways if uh, to dispel uh, the chroma so one is like uh, you have a gizmo VFX kill spell just that's all you need to do for uh, dispelling the image and this is like uh, as per the requirement or what what must be the suppression if you are uh, like if you just go further you have adding more red in the footage so it's like it's just quick uh, for the dispel but what if you don't have like uh, one of the guy commented on my video that what if you don't have this tool like uh, when we go for interview or something so what are the ways that we can do it so I'm just about to tell that so first is like the best uh, which I have given you in my previous like previous to previous video about compositing keying okay so take a key light attach to this and if you have green go for green if you have blue then go for blue then what's happening over here right now is like we are use losing some of the luminance value in the footage so what we gonna do like minus this thing shuffle shift x for to shuffle between these two minus so now what we have this luminance which we, we were missing so go for saturation we need to decide it we don't want to like if you like uh, I'm just gonna tell you this is the major thing like if we don't do decide this thing then we are just adding like this and this is almost like same okay so what you need to do it's like plus would be fine ah, to have a proper values okay so if we decide this thing as you can see like we have a dispel and we are not losing much more luminance value as we were losing previously so for luminance there is a shortcut y you can check your luminance channel okay so before this we were losing a lot of luminance value as you can see this is a major difference which is like which is r completely wrong so this is the one way to dispel your footage the other way is expression go for it it's uh, very good I'm just gonna explain you that uh, eventually how it started like this is for red this is for green this is for blue and this is for alpha so it's like we are tweaking uh, our, uh, like we are tweaking for green we are going to for going for green then we are I'm just gonna use an expression for green so what this expression is like if green is greater than red G go, uh, stands for green, R stands for red, then red is equal to green. So now you can see we have dispelled this, but we eventually uh, it's all about luminance. As I said before, we are losing a luminous uh, much more. Okay. So I'm just uh, why I deleted that thing. So it's like we can compare a result afterwards I'm sorry for this shuffle shift X saturation plus So we are losing a cord of a lot of detail over here 
so this was the expression that uh, which have given an idea of what can be done so let the this is the one way of of doing a, the the second was like uh, if green is greater than red plus blue so it's like it's math so you need to give this thing in give this thing in bracket then divide it by 2 okay simply like if r plus b just hold for a second yeah if uh, green is greater than r plus r plus blue divided by 2 then then r plus b divided by 2 is equal to green so now you can see we are just less affecting our luminance value compared to the previous expression that which we used okay so uh, just let me give you that uh, this information if uh, green is greater than red plus blue means like red channel plus blue channel the information from the red and the blue plus the both plus values divided by 2 then r plus b like the value over here which we got is uh, equal to green simple so what it does is like if uh, green is greater than red okay like green value is greater than red like uh, suppose over here uh, it was green value is greater as you can see like uh, I'm just gonna do this thing for you guys quickly to explain you better okay I'm just gonna pre-mold this thing yeah, ignore the alpha okay if green value is greater than red then R is equal to green simple then it just uh, shuffle the channels with uh, nothing else same over here as you can see I'm just oh, sorry yeah you can see over here what's the difference between this expression and this expression so this is the one way and the other as everyone knows about it it's you correct so it's like it's an old method but it's this works a lot a, lo a lot of time <sighs> we will go like we will select pixels green pixels and we gonna just suppress the green over here as much as possible then we go and go for saturation we just gonna kill the saturation of like this part of green uh, until and unless we just get rid of this green sorry guys uh, control alt and I click to have to add one more point as you can see we almost got like but still we have it over here in our hairs so we gonna select those pixels like you can see it's over here we just gonna like end up like we still have it over here we gonna go in green channel green suppress then like we need to be very much careful about this thing yeah as you can see we have a good alpha uh, uh, dispel without like less effect in the luminance value so now we can compare this thing like this is the uh, expression this is uh, like uh, just hold for a second I'm just gonna yeah this is the expression this is another expression like this is the way best way that you can do when you don't have any gizmos and everything and this is the another way okay uh, uh, you can apply this method to this as well is this same concept like we have if we have got it it's the same concept no need to worry about that thing it's like you need to just get uh, as I auto informed you guys like it's in color based here just to give him the pixels like it's like you correct we have given the value and it's like we are just adding our luminance we can do this for this thing too as uh, as well okay to 
get back our luminance value so this was the wave to display I'll hold 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 for a second so like we need to compare with PXF kill speed just go one two one two one two as you can see there's no difference in this thing like there's no seriously no difference as I'm just comparing this both method so it's like if you don't have it this gizmo doesn't make a sense we can get this output with the help of this okay so thank you guys uh, please do if you haven't subscribed to my channel please guys please do subscribe to my channel so in my next video I'm just gonna share you the technique like how to get an hair details uh, and, uh, as well as how to integrate them so we have uh, this topic as well to cover so hope you guys please do subscribe to my channel have a nice day thank you guys